Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the National number N102-269. This is a three and a quarter inch safety hasp in zinc. This is what a package of five apparently looks like. Well, okay, it's a, this is what 10 looks like when they've cut it open and put and removed five. So let's take a look at what this hasp is all about. National as a company, I can tell you, has been in business since well before World War One, I. I don't know how far back they go, but I have a catalog that's from 1907. Um, <laughs> and not a lot's really changed. They're still the same company that they ever were, I think. Except that they're probably owned by a larger company now. Um, let's take a look here. Okay, so let's get an idea of what the uh, size of this hasp is. Now this unit does not include uh, any screws whatsoever. I've noticed that smaller sizes do, depending on the packaging, if they're display packaged. Now if you go looking for these hasps online from National, they're going to be known as the number 30 or a 30. Um, it's a V30 if it's visually packed, but this, this hasp is a 30. The size is then derived, is derived into that N102-269. Um, there, there are no fasteners included with this. I would say you're going to need number eight screws would be my guess. There is a link below this video to the, not only the, uh, some line art, but there's also a technical drawing that's there as well. So let's take some basic dimensional properties of this item, get a closer look at it. So they say that it's three and a quarter, and that three and a quarter inch dimension is generally from the center line of the pin to the edge of the hasp, and that is indeed the case. The center line of the pin, and that's a riveted pin, that's a fixed pin. Uh, it's height, inch and a half. They say that it's ribbed for extra strength, which it is, obviously. Okay, The dimension of the concealed portion from the center line of the pin is about an inch and five sixteenths as you can see. Now the staple, that height is an inch and three eighths, its overall width about an inch and five eighths, and its projection about seven eighths. Let me give you the inside dimension of that staple as well. I did look up, uh, I came across as I was looking for some additional information on this. National has been in business since 1901 in Illinois, Sterling, Illinois, I believe, which is a suburb, uh, 90 minutes or so, you know, maybe two hours, basically west of Chicago. So, somewhere there. I grew up in Chicago. Sterling, if I had to get to Sterling, I'd go out to 80 and, uh, and just go west and watch for the sign kind of thing. Um, the overall width, if you ever get to that art, out to that part of Illinois, there's a great state park there called uh, White Pines, a great little, Starved Rock as well, a couple of nice uh, parks there, birthplace of Ronald Reagan, if I'm not in, uh, wrong, point seven two, part, pardon me, point seven one six, point seven one six wide, it's can't really get the caliper in there too well, but basically I think we're going to be right in the range of about 0.42 inch wide, 0.42, okay? Very nice quality piece of equipment in the sense that it is what it is, steel with a zinc coating. Typical material, what will you use a hasp like this for? Well, to lock the fence, lock the gate, lock a trunk, uh, a foot locker, any sort of uh, utility work you're doing. You're hasp on your padlock on your um, tool box may have broken you might use something like this to make that work um, utility kind of work uh, hobby sort of work as well we've sold this material to people that were building structures um, you know uh, made out of wood wooden screws you know picnic benches flower pots things of that nature finally there is a link below this video to the manufacturers page where you can pull up not only all of the national hardware that we sell, I, I don't know of their relationship between them and Stanley. It could simply be that Stanley owns national. I don't know. But I do know that much of what was considered Stanley hardware at one time 
has now a national part number and enough research and communicating with the proper people you can usually correlate a modern part number to a Stanley original part number and I've been able to recently do so successfully with storm and screen door door closers. Okay. If you have any questions on the N102-269 three and a quarter inch HASP or any other national product, please feel free to reach out to us and thank you.